Mahmoud Abu Zaid, better known as Shoukan, could be sentenced to death for simply doing his job. An Egyptian judge is due to give his ruling in the case. Shoukan was arrested along with two other non-Egyptian journalists who were later released while he was taking pictures during the post-coup unrest in Egypt's Rabat Square in 2013. He was among hundreds of people detained when Egyptian security forces were ordered by General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, now the president, to end the six-week sit-in. Almost 1,000 people died in the violence that followed. Human Rights Watch has said the Egyptian military's crackdown is probably a crime against humanity. According to court documents, Shokan is being charged with weapons possession, illegal assembly, murder and attempted murder. Rights groups have called for his immediate release. The Egyptian embassy in Paris refused to accept a petition with more than 70,000 signatures in support of Shokan. Amnesty International says his health is deteriorating. We demand that all charges against him are dropped. We demand that the Egyptian government stops the suppression of human rights defenders who are being silenced simply because they criticize Egyptian authorities. He's been diagnosed with malnutrition, anemia and depression. He's written a letter from his prison cell outlining the abuses he's faced and how journalism in Egypt has become a crime. There are 13 journalists facing life imprisonment or the death sentence. On Saturday, Shokan will learn his fate. Diana Karim, Al Jazeera.